Now, uh, our uh, way of defining the diffraction condition using Bragg's law and von Lau uh, diffraction condition, they all work in the um, direct lattice. Basically, we're looking at, uh, well, the, for the von Lau diffraction condition, we're looking at what's happening in the reciprocal uh, lattice. In the Bragg's diffraction condition, we're looking at what's happening in the direct lattice. Uh, however, uh, if we uh, look at the uh, reciprocal lattice picture, uh, as in the Ewald construction, we can obtain another uh, diffraction condition using the concept of Brillian zone. So Brillian gave another geometrical interpretation of the diffraction condition. Well, we define the Wigner site's primitive cell of the reciprocal lattice as the first brilliant zone. So here is the rectangular lattice. If you remember, what we do to construct the Wigner site's primitive cell is uh, in this rectangular reciprocal lattice, so we have the lattice constant, uh, for example, 2 pi over a and 2 pi over b here. Um, we connect our uh, lattice point to all of its uh, nearest neighbors and we, we draw perpendiculars at the midpoints and we look at the smallest area in two dimensions or volume enclosed by the boundaries in the reciprocal lattice uh, of rectangular lattice. This corresponds to another rectangle. Now what Brillian says is the following, because we are now in the reciprocal lattice and these boundaries are basically uh, defining the the regions where we have the uh, projection onto a reciprocal lattice vector equals g over 2. If you have a k vector, a wave vector that originates from the origin and it its tip uh, touches one of the zone boundaries, brilliant zone boundaries, since its projection onto one of the reciprocal lattice vectors g will be g over 2, uh, we're going to have from von Lau diffraction condition k dot g hat is equal to uh, g over 2 diffraction condition, uh, we must have uh, constructive interference, so there will be a diffraction. So brilliant diffraction condition can be stated as follows. A wave vector drawn from the origin that terminates on any of the planes that define a brilliant zone will satisfy the diffraction condition. Now, this Wigner site's primitive cell of the reciprocal lattice is the first brilliant zone. It's the smallest volume entirely closed by planes that are perpendicular bisectors of the reciprocal lattice vectors drawn from the origin. However, we could continue with this procedure, for example, connect this to the uh, second uh, nearest uh, neighbor here, second nearest neighbors here, here, etc. And then we would find another brilliant zone using the Wigner sites construction with the second uh, nearest neighbors. And this will give us the second brilliant zone, third brilliant zone, etc. So these are uh, different brilliant zones we will obtain in the reciprocal lattice. Now, as an exercise, let's look at the reciprocal lattice to simple cubic lattice. The direct lattice has th uh, three uh, one choice of three primitive translation vectors a, b, c would be a, x hat, a, y hat, and a, z hat. Using cyclic permutations between a, b, and c here, we can construct the reciprocal lattice primitive translation vectors. It is 2 pi divided by a dot b cross c, that's the volume of the uh, primitive cell, a cube. Uh, multiplied with b cross c, b cross c would give me a square y hat cross z hat, y hat cross z hat is x hat, so it's 2 pi over a cube, a square x hat, 2 pi over a x hat for a vector. And similarly for b vector I would find 2 pi over a y hat, for capital C vector I would find 2 pi over a z hat. Now how do I write the reciprocal lattice vectors? They, they are in the form uh, HA hat plus K, HA plus KB plus LC, uh, the HK and L Miller indices, so it will be 2 pi over A HX hat plus KY hat plus LZ hat. So 
the vectors that I obtained here, 2 pi over a x hat, 2 pi over a y hat, 2 pi over a z hat, define a simple cubic lattice, a simple cubic lattice constant must be 2 pi over a. So basically the reciprocal lattice to simple cubic lattice is another simple cubic lattice with lattice constant 2 pi over a if a is the lattice constant of the direct lattice. And the shortest reciprocal lattice vectors will be these vectors a, b, c, a plus or minus 2 pi over a x hat plus or minus 2 pi over a y hat plus or minus 2 pi over a z hat. And the boundaries of the Brillouin zone are planes normal to these six uh, shortest reciprocal lattice vectors at their midpoints. So these planes will go through plus or minus pi over a x hat, pi over a y hat, pi over a z hat. And these six planes will form a cube of edge length 2 pi over a and volume 2 pi over a cube. This is the first Brillouin zone of the simple cubic lattice. So that was uh, quite straightforward in this case. Now if you look at the reciprocal lattice to body center of cubic lattice, one, chase, uh, one choice of primitive uh, lattice translation vectors will be a over 2 x hat plus y hat minus z hat, a over 2 minus x hat plus y hat plus z hat, a over 2 x hat minus y hat plus z hat. If I look at the volume of the primitive unit cell a dot b cross c, uh, well, basically, what do I expect? Because in the, the conventional cell, I have one atom at the body center, one lattice point at the body center, eight uh, lattice points at the corners, eight times one over eight inside a cell plus one, so two per cell. The volume of the uh, conventional cell is a cube, so a cube over two should be the volume of the primitive cell. Now, let's check uh, a dot b cross c it will be a cube over 8, x hat plus y hat minus z hat, dotted with minus x hat plus y hat plus z hat, cross product with x hat minus y hat plus z hat. So if you form the cyclic permutations x hat, y hat, z hat, this is the positive direction, that's the clockwise direction, minus x hat cross with x hat gives us 0, minus minus plus x hat cross y hat gives us plus z hat. So that's the first term. And then I have minus x hat cross with z hat. x hat cross z hat is minus y hat. Because I have a minus sign, this becomes plus y hat. y hat cross x hat, that is in the wrong direction. It gives me minus z hat. My hat cross with minus y hat is 0. y hat cross with z hat gives me plus x hat. z hat cross x hat gives me plus y hat. z hat cross with y hat gives me minus x hat. But because I have minus y hat gives here, it's plus x hat, and z hat cross z hat is 0. So plus z hat and minus z hat cancel, I have a cube over 8, 2, x hat plus y hat minus z hat dotted with x hat plus y hat. Because here I have two y hats and two x hats in the parentheses, there is the 2. So I obtain a cube over 4 with the dot product. x hat dot x hat is 1 y hat dot y hat is 1, so I will obtain a 2 from the dot product, so that gives me a cube over 2. So my primitive uh, reciprocal lattice translation vectors, 2 pi divided by a cube over 2 b cross c, 2 pi a cube over t b cross c was 2 x hat plus y hat uh, times a squared over 4, so I obtain 2 pi over a x hat plus y hat. And similarly, for b and c vectors, I will obtain 2 pi over a y hat plus z hat and 2 pi over a x hat plus z hat. These are primitive vectors because they are connecting uh, to the... So we can write this as basically 2 pi... Uh, 4 pi over a... So if I write it this way, uh, for example, vector a is... 4 pi over a divided by 2 x hat plus y hat you can see that this is the vector that connects the corner lattice point to a face center and where the lattice constant is 4 pi over a so these are primitive vectors of the FCC lattice lattice constant 4 pi over a 
The G vector is HA plus KB plus LC. So HA will give me 2 pi over A HX hat plus HY hat. And from LC, I will obtain 2 pi over A LX hat plus LZ hat. So in X hat parentheses, I obtain H plus L. So similarly, I have H plus KY hat, K plus LZ hat. So that is my general reciprocal lattice translation vector G. What is the shortest G? The shortest G's are of the form 2 pi over A plus or minus X hat plus or minus Y hat. Uh, and y hat z hat or x hat z hat so i have four combinations from each scenario giving me 12 vectors the first brilliant zone planes will pass through midpoints of the shortest g vectors pi over a plus or minus x hat plus or minus y hat etc and that will form a 12 based solid that we call a rhombic dodecahedron the reciprocal lattice to body-centered cubic lattice is face-centered cubic lattice. And to face-centered cubic lattice, we will see, is body-centered cubic lattice. The first brilliant zone of the body-centered cubic direct lattice uh, is rhombic dodecahedron, and the reciprocal lattice is face-centered cubic. Now, if I do the same exercise for face-centered cubic lattice, here is a choice of primitive translation vectors, a over 2 x hat plus y hat, a over 2 y hat plus z hat, a over 2 x hat plus z hat. What is the volume of the primitive unit cell? a dot b cross c. b cross c is a square over 4 y hat plus z hat cross with x hat plus z hat. y hat cross x hat gives me minus z hat. y hat cross z hat gives me plus x hat. z hat cross x hat gives me plus y hat, z hat plus cross z hat is 0, so that's a squared over 4 minus z hat plus x hat plus y hat, <coughs> and if I take the dot product with a, a vector, a over 2 x hat plus y hat dot product with a squared over 4, gives me a cube over 8 x hat plus y hat dot product with x hat plus y hat minus z hat, the dot product gives me 2, so the answer is a cube over 4, as I expect, because the number of lattice points in a conventional face-centered cubic lattice is 6 times 1 over 2 from the face centers, 3, and 8 times 1 over 8 from the corners, 1, so number 4. The volume is a cube, so if a cube over 4 is volume of the primitive cell. Now I start constructing the reciprocal lattice primitive translation vectors 2 pi divided by volume of the primitive cell a cube over 4 and then i have <coughs> b cross c a squared over 4 minus c hat plus x hat plus y hat the answer is 2 pi over a x hat plus y hat minus z hat and similarly if you do this exercise for b vector we obtain 2 pi over a minus x hat plus y hat plus z hat and here we obtain 2 pi over a x hat minus y hat plus z hat. Now if you go back to the body-centered cubic direct lattice uh, primitive vectors, it's lattice constant divided by 2 x hat plus y hat minus z hat. Here I have obtained uh, lattice constant divided by 2. For example, a vector is 4 pi over a divided by 2 x hat plus y hat minus z hat. So these are basis vectors of the BCC lattice. Lattice constant is 4 pi over A. Okay, <clears throat> so the reciprocal lattice to face-centered cubic lattice is body-centered cubic with lattice constant 4 pi over A. The reciprocal lattice vectors H, A, K, B, L, C are 2 pi over A, H, x hat plus y hat minus z hat plus k minus x hat plus y hat plus z hat plus l x hat minus y hat plus z hat. So if I work on these, I obtain 2 pi over a h minus k plus l x hat h plus k minus l y hat minus h plus k plus l z hat. So what are the shortest uh, reciprocal lattice vectors? Those are given by a, b and c. 2 pi over a plus or minus x hat plus or minus y hat plus or minus z hat. <coughs> so this gives me two possibilities for x hat, two possibilities for y hat, two possibilities of z hat, eight vectors, eight combinations. 
So the boundaries of the primitive cell are determined by the eight planes perpendicular to these vectors at their midpoints. However, corners will be cut by planes which are perpendicular bisectors of six other reciprocal lattice vectors. This is not easy to see. Uh, a plus C vector, 2 pi over A plus or minus 2 x hat, A plus B vector and B plus C vector are those six vectors whose perpendicular bisectors give uh, cut planes. So this gives six more planes which truncates the octahedron that we should normally obtain. So we have 14 faces, it's called a truncated octahedron. So if we look at this <coughs> in the... Uh, in this video here, you can see uh, this is for the um, body-centered cubic reciprocal lattice. Uh, you can see that we have the truncated octahedron. And here is our uh, face-centered uh, cubic um, reciprocal lattice. There we have uh, as you can see, we have this um, rhombic dodecahedron. So we have seen uh, two possible uh, scenarios. Uh, for the <clears throat> face-centered cubic lattice, the reciprocal lattice is body-centered cubic, and the first brilliant zone is a truncated octahedron. For the uh, body-centered cubic lattice, the reciprocal lattice is face-centered cubic, and uh, the first brilliant zone is rhombic dodecahedron. The reciprocal lattice to simple cubic lattice is simple cubic. The first brilliant zone is basically a simple cubic lattice also. And this brilliant zone has the importance that if you have a wave vector that comes from the origin and its tip ends at one of the brilliant zone boundaries, it's going to give us constructive interference.